Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today my video is not as I had planned it to be. I was kind of planning a couple different things. One was a hair video, but this is like the last day of my hair where I need to actually wash it. Uh, I go usually like three to four days, wash my hair. Um, I never blow dry my hair. I always let it dry natural, but I kind of thought it would be nice to do a hair video in um, in our salon. So I think that that would be kind of better than, you know, in the hallway of my bedroom. <laughs> so I think that that's what we're going to go. Plus it should be clean when I'm doing it. Um, and then I could talk about all the products that I like. And, and then as far as working out goes, I haven't really gotten there. I've gotten it back into the routine of waking up early. Um, which that's like the first step to it is just like getting the routine set like even if it's just a small little thing towards the goal it's still like a step in the right direction so i've been getting up early again which is so much better for me than um waking up a little bit later it just it works out so much better i have some other goals to go with that so I'll do a whole um, Operation Get Sexy video at some point next week, hopefully. Probably by the end of next week. It might be my Friday video. Um, but today, I accidentally went to Sephora and I accidentally purchased a couple things. So another goal of mine is not to purchase any more makeup or anything. Um, and right now, at, after this, I should be good for quite a while. I don't really need anything. Um, so I'll... I'll be good for a little bit unless there's something I need to run into the store for and then that's what happens is you run in there and you're like oh let me just take a look at all this other stuff um, and there are other couple things that I want probably now after this purchase but um, I'm gonna wait until at least March 1st that's my um, my new uh, thing so if you watch my last video you know that I'm starting to get ready to plan a possible trip for um, my son and I, my oldest son and I, to go on a little trip together. And my plan is New York City, Manhattan, um, but my husband had heard from a couple clients that it's not the safest, um, and I still feel like it will be fine. So, because I know I'm not gonna go on the subway, um, so that was one of the comments on the last video, just don't go on the subway. I knew I wasn't gonna go on the subway, and then someone said to avoid Times Square. Um, I'm not more, I'm really not about the touristy things. So I think it may be okay, but I would like more suggestions, more tips. Uh, if you were to take a 10 year old boy to New York City, where would you go? Um, those kind of things. So I'm in the process of kind of planning this. In my mind, it's going to work. So I would really like it to work. And I'm, I haven't traveled in a while, so I've been looking at all these like items online that I need to travel. And it's like, do you really need all those items? Probably not. Um, I think I have a suitcase somewhere. I haven't used it in a long time, a little carry-on bag. Um, I think I have everything I need, but then I'm like looking at all these cute little things online, um, like for, for your toiletries and stuff. And one of the things is, let me know if you have these or not, the little, I think the company's called Cadence, C-A-D-E-N-C-E, -E, I think it's what it is, but they're like the little pots and they're magnetic and they stick together and you can get them in different colors. And I like the idea of that, so I might order some of those, um, but I'm gonna wait <laughs> until at least March before I decide to purchase anything like that. But one of the things, so anyway, I'm looking at all this stuff, um, just like kind of like just accumulating a list. And then I went to my sauna because that's part of my um, get fit and sexy routine is going to this sauna, which I love an infrared sauna. You can change the colors. The different colors are supposed to have different benefits. I didn't go at all during the month of December, so I have extra sessions that are um, built up. So I'm like, I'm just going a little bit extra lately. Um, because I wasn't feeling great and so this was something that I felt was good for me that um, that wasn't because I wasn't feeling like doing all the things that I needed to do and I wanted to get in the routine of doing things again but I just whatever so because the sauna is very close 
to the mall. I decided I'd pop into Sephora because I, as I was searching for things, I decided that I'm like, oh, well, I really like the idea of these Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Color Morphing Eyeshadow Pencils. Uh, I like the idea of just a stick. I know Laura Mercier makes some, a bunch of people make them, and I was interested in this particular color, so I decided I'm just gonna pop in there and see and whatever. So I picked up this one, and it is in the shade, doo -doo -doo. I got the color Dark Pearl. Doo -doo -doo. That's the tube, that's the opening. And that is what it looks like on the hand. Just a really nice all over lid color. So I am wearing this today because I decided to, you know, try it out. Yesterday I did put it on after I left the um, Sephora when I got home, I put it on. I didn't have any other makeup on. Um, I will say that I, I didn't put anything on top of it and it just felt a little bit sticky on my eyes so it definitely needs an eyeshadow to set it or a powder to set it or something so i did put an eyeshadow over top of it i put one of my dior eyeshadows on from my palette that i bought most recently this little palette the dior cool neutrals number 002 I use this color right here just right on top of it so i like it i don't i feel like now I really kind of felt like I wanted two more of these. I wanted the black one and the champagne one as well. But if it's more of just a base for me, um, where I'm just putting stuff on top of it, it's probably going to be completely unnecessary. So the one is probably fine, and I probably don't need to get the two others. But I did like the color. I think it's really fantastic. It goes with the tones that I do like on my eyes. That's what I went there for. <laughs> That's what I went there for. And I obviously had to pick up a couple other things. I wasn't even gonna necessarily buy it. I just wanted to see and then I'm like, okay, that seems good. I'm gonna get that. So I got it. And then I saw this pencil there, the Hollywood Exagger Eyes Liner Duo, which looks like this. And let me open it. It's for bigger, brighter looking eyes. That's what I'm always going for, bigger and brighter looking eyes. So, um, because I was interested in the champagne color and I was also interested in the black, I thought this was kind of a nice um, item. So it's got the champagne side, it's metallic. I thought originally, ugh, these are very hard to open. Okay, so it looks like that. I thought originally it was gonna be just like kind of a matte nude color for the waterline, but it's more of a shimmery. So that's that on the skin and it's pretty. So I'm excited to use this. The other side is just a black. Doesn't have the sparkle like the, um, the eyeshadow sticks do, but I don't know, it's pretty nice. So I thought this was kind of a cool little purchase. Um, I thought this was a good, like, best of both worlds thing. And I got another lipstick, exactly what I need, another lipstick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing Fallen from Lipstick Tree. Oh, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, Falling from the Lipstick Tree. Ha, <laughs> that's pretty cute. This one's bitch perfect. Whoa, whoa. I thought, wow, great. And I like these lipstick containers, very nice. There's that, and I just got a notification. Something I have been eyeing from Sephora, it's the Armani Beauty you've been eyeing is back in stock. <laughs> exactly what I need, exactly what I need. So um, that's fine, I don't need it. Uh, but isn't that a pretty color? That's a really nice peachy nude lipstick. So I'm all into these travel items, obviously, because I'm like, okay, well I need to get like mentally prepared. Um, so I ended up buying this, which I think that I may have this seems awfully big for travel size. It might be too big. Who knows? I'm gonna, we'll see. But it's the, it's my, one of my favorite cleansers. It's the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. Uh, this is one of my favorite cleansers. I have the large one um, in my children's bathroom because a lot of times I'll wash my face in there while I'm giving them a bath or something. 
Um, and I also like for my, my oldest son to use this cleanser. Uh, and I think that it smells really nice. I think I have some samples of it. It smells really great. It's a really nice cleanser. Just clean and nice and it, it feels like it cleans. Sometimes I feel like they don't clean, like you're not getting like a good, a good washing and I feel like this one, it gives you that good clean. So I've gotta just look through what I have though. So I'm gonna organize some stuff in the meantime. I will end up using this, so it's not a big deal. But I think I may even have a couple smaller ones that I have gotten as like maybe Beauty Insider, like using my points to get some or a sample or something. They're just a little bit smaller than this. But that's like the thing. I was thinking like, oh, okay, well you need all these travel containers, but a lot of times companies make these mini little things. And so do you really need the travel container? I don't know. And then there's things like shampoo and conditioner and I probably like, I like the brand that we sell in the salon and they make all the mini things so I could just buy the mini ones and I'd be super happy. So I don't know, do I need the travel containers? Do I not? Uh, it's just something to think about. And then the last item that I purchased was this travel perfume, although <laughs> Like, I, I, you know, they make all those little things that you see, I saw them on Amazon, where you could just like take your perfume and put it in the little container, which would be kind of nice to just have in general, um, and to do that. But I liked how this perfume smelled, and it's the Prada Paradox. It's a little sweeter than what I already have. So I kind of like the idea of the, mixing this one with the uh, my per current perfume. Urgh. It just, it has like, it's, it's almost, <laughs> what it, something sweet, but a little bit sophisticated, but on the border of being not sophisticated. Like it has a little bit of that bordering like, mmm questionable it's border questionable it smells like it's the sweetness that is almost questionable like that you were maybe to buy a victoria's secret body spray or something like that like a little bit almost questionable perfume i have been using i think this is maybe a men's cologne uh, but it's creed aven aventus aventus i'm not 100 percent sure uh, I think it's maybe men's. I kind of like that um, a little bit more masculine scent. So I kind of thought that these two would be kind of nice together. They might not be nice together. Oh, this smells so freaking good. <laughs> it makes me feel like, I don't know, it just smells so good. It's like just a little bit masculine. I enjoy it. Do I like it together? I think they kind of smell nice together. I have to I have to try it out and get back to you on it. I think it's kind of nice. It's like man meets woman. <laughs> Very sexy. I think I'm into it. I think these two together amazing. So maybe I will still buy one of those um perfume things on Amazon that I saw and put the perfume in there so I can have two. I don't need that much though, but I think I'm into it. But yeah, I wasn't supposed to buy any more makeup items. I have enough, I have enough. We gotta keep telling myself I have enough. Don't need to go buy anything else. I think I have everything that I absolutely need right now. Um, everything I absolutely need and I don't need any more. So we're not gonna purchase any more makeup, no more perfume. Um, I'll use that little bottle and maybe I will end up buying the big one because I do like it. I think it's great. I think it's kind of a great little combination. Like man meets woman and they're in love. <laughs> I don't know, it smells good though. So hopefully I'll see you next week with two videos. One um, where I'm not like a complete mess and my hair is needing a wash. But yeah, that's it, so goodbye. <laughs>